Why don't the B-52 bombers tail gun fire anymore? The option to turn off the tail gun was actually prompted by an event during Operation Desert Storm, despite the Air Force's first declaration that it would be done so in order to save money. One day, a B-52 tail gunner claimed that an Iraqi jet fighter was tracking it while it was in the air, but it was actually an American F-4G wild weasel that was following closely behind. The F-4G mistakenly thought the B-52's NASG fire control system was an enemy air defense mechanism and fired an AGM-88 harm at it. As it turned out, the weasel released harm just as the bomber's fire control system latched onto it. The B-52 bomber's aft 6 to 8 feet of its airframe were entirely damaged by the missile, while the F-4G escaped undamaged. The B-52 was forced to land, and the ground crew's initial assessment was that ground-based fire couldn't cause this damage. Guam was the only base that could do the job of repairing the B-52 tail portion, so the aircraft was dispatched there. Despite being inactive for the rest of the Persian Gulf War, the B-52 was given the moniker in harm's way.